and welcome to Techno Day at Life and on today's episode we're going to be installing Hemdoll which is an application that basically bookmarks all our apps on our computer so then we can just open up one page and then click through to anything that we want to get to. We can even click through to our server actually. So it sounds very uh, simple and dumb but it's actually very nice in, in, in reality. So. And uh, as always, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and here we go now. Okay, so we start out, we want to type in Heimdall, or Hemdall, I don't know exactly how you say it. And we're going to click on the Linux server version and click Start. Once that's done, click Close. And then we're going to click on Heimdall and click Info. Going to scroll down to the usage. And these are the parameters we're going to be putting in. We're going to be changing our uh, HTTP uh, login there because we have Open Media Vault on that. Next, we're going to make sure Heimdall is highlighted. We're going to click run image. We're going to call this Heimdall. Restart policy always. We're going to put it in bridge mode. We're going to change 80 to 8081. Hit the plus sign. Then we're going to put in our UID and our PID. And then our PGID. And if you don't know how to do this, then uh, please check out um, my Plex video and we'll show you how to do it in there. Next we're going to do time zone. Of course uh, put in your own time zone and then we're going to click plus. Next we're going to go down to container path, hit slash and config. Next we're going to go to our Windows network. We're going to go to our server. This is our Think server. We're going to click on app data. We're going to create a new folder called Hemdall. Once we're done with that, we can close that. We're going to go back to host path. Click on shared folders, app data, Hemdall. OK. Click the plus sign. And then we're going to click save. And I suggest waiting a few minutes before you check it out because it seems to take a, a minute or two to load. So after you've given that a minute, then copy your IP address, paste that in a new tab, and then backspace colon 8081, and then hit enter. And now you're in Heimdall. And so next what we want to do is add some applications. And so for us, we have on this server, we have Tautuli and Hi or, uh, Plex. So what we're going to do is add an application here. We're going to type in Plex. And you can see Plex comes up. And so then next we need the URL. And then our URL for Plex is simply, again, our IP address. And it's colon 32400 slash web. Here you can see it's pinned. So just make sure that is uh, blue, so then it will show up in our list. We're going to click Save. And then the other thing we have on here is Tautili, tau however you say that. And so now that option is gone from the top, so we'll go down here and let's see here. We can do one of two things. We can click this there, and then it says Pin Item to the Dashboard. Or we can go down a little further, click the price tag thing and click add. Type in Tautili. Oops, Tautuli. Have to spell it right. There we go. And then the IP address for this one is... And if you've forgotten your what ports it on, you can actually uh, move these back and forth. And most of the time it will say which port is there. So Tautuli is on 8081. And then uh, you can see the blue pinned is on there. Uh, we don't have a different URL, so we're going to click Save there. So I'm going to close this Plex tab. And so we're going to add in one more thing. So we're going to pin... Oh, excuse me. 
So if we haven't pinned a item to the dashboard, we can pin it or unpin it here. You can see this takes it away. This adds them back in. So we don't want to do that right now, but we do want to add one more thing in here. So we're going to click in Add. And so we're going to type in Open Media Vault. And there it is. And then again, we just copy our URL. Copy our URL, just paste that there. And we're going to upload a file. So we have a nice looking OMV sticker there. And then we're going to click Save. Okay, so now we have three items in our thing. And we're going to customize this just a little bit more. So we're going to click on the gears in the bottom right corner. And so you can change the background image here. You can change your languages. We're going to add a search option. So we're going to just click on that and click Save. And then we have to set a search provider. And so we can do Google, DuckDuckGo, Bing, or Start Page. We're going to just save it Google, click Save. And then uh, we're going to change the last thing. So if a link opens, we're going to open it in its in a new tab, actually. And you'll see why here in a second. So once we're done with that, click on the box of squares. And that will take us back here. So now we have a search engine at the top. And then we have our three different uh, programs here. Uh, one other thing is if we grab those you can see we can't change anything but if we click on the two arrows again we can actually move things around to wherever we want and then just click on the two arrows again and it is set so things open in new tabs so now we can open open media vaults and you can see that does that there in a new tab we're going to open plex there's Plex and Tautili, and there they are. So they all opened up. So Hemdal is a great way to just pin all your different apps for your server. So then you can easily reach them just in a few clicks. So that's it for today. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.